Yeah, I thought I was <clears throat> was our our most complete defensive um, performance, uh, start to finish. I, I, I'm not I'm not upset about anything on offense. You know, we scored 75 points and couldn't hit water if we fell out of the boat from the three point line. But we guarded. You know, we, I mean, we defended. The game that I watched this team play in scouting was at Colorado. They were up on Colorado 38-33 at halftime. And then in the second half, <clears throat> they got two stops to start the half, and then they scored to go up 40-33. <clears throat> Colorado's good now. Um, I think they were 9-1 and one or 10-1 and one after that game. So, um, But, you know, we've been preaching and, and uh, pushing and needing and shoving every average you can think to get our team to, to be more – consistent defensively and um, so you know with conference play starting uh, Wednesday you know it's good to see us have a really good um, defensive performance for 40 minutes and, you know basketball is an imperfect game <clears throat> sometimes as coaches we're always seeking perfection but it's a very imperfect game you, you can't play a perfect game um, and we tend to criticize the areas we're not good in but that's human nature but I, I, I was happy with this performance because of our effort, uh, the way we rebounded the ball at both ends, and the way we guarded. Th those three things uh, uh, gives me encouragement going forward. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that I get overly carried away with uh, starting lineups. Uh, Devontae is going to be in the lineup every game. Dotson will. Uh, you know, Ronnie, Ronnie didn't start against um, Wyoming. I started uh, um, Galen in that lineup. And the thing, the thing that I've, you know, over the course of the uh, non-conference, I think this applies for every coach and every team, is, is by the time you get to conference, you want everybody to understand their role. You know, guys that don't understand their role, Usually, usually is the Webster's Dictionary for I don't like my role. That's when the guy says, well, I don't understand my role. No, you, you understand it. You just don't like it. But um, uh, the thing that I've emphasized to Galen, for instance, is uh, we, we don't need you to lead us in scoring. You know, one, one of the things that Galen was doing earlier in the season is every time he got, he was trying to drive it and shoot it. Uh, if you notice today, he had 10 assists, and I think he had three shot attempts. That's a good line for him. He doesn't need to score for this team. You know, um, Rob Gray goes six for 17. <laughs> you guys seen him play. That could easily have been 12 for 17. He didn't take a shot he couldn't make. He just didn't make them today. Next game, he can go. I want him taking that. He should lead us in shot attempts because he's our best scorer. You know, I, offense is not an equal opportunity position. You know, everybody has a role. Um, Devontae was seven for eight because Devontae doesn't take shots he can't make. He's a smart player. Um, Dotson was five for 10, one for six, but you guys saw him from the three-point line. Every shot he shot was wide open. Could come back and go five for six for those. But I liked our shot selection today because I thought everybody is, is, um, is filtering down to what they should be. Galen has to lead us in assist. Um, Rob has to lead us in scoring. Dot's got to be more consistent from the three, but I thought he did a good job of uh, uh, taking good shots. That's why he was five for 10. Um, no, chicken goes three for eight, but chicken could have been eight for eight. How yeah, I many layups he missed? Um, but that's why se the 76 points could have been 105. Um, but the defense, that's what I was uh, pleased with. I was really pleased with our effort uh, defensively because I know the offense is going to be there.
um, you know, that I come out like I came out today because I think a lot of guys feed off of my energy, feed off the energy and stuff that I bring when I'm on the glass or when I'm blocking shots coming from the help side or, you know, we get out of transition and we get, you know, dunks and stuff, you know, to your teammates and stuff feed out of that. So for me to be able to do those things game after game like I did tonight on a consistent daily basis throughout the rest of the season, I think it's going to be big for us. Just um, um, gives you an anchor. Every team I've ever coached, uh, um, way before people were calling it the big three, I always had a triangle. You know, <clears throat> you have a tip of the triangle, then you have two anchors. You know, every team has a triangle. You know, uh, the tip of our triangle is uh, Devante. Our two anchors are Rob and Dot. You know, those, those two, guys, those three guys. Every team has a best three players. Every team has a best player. And I've never had a problem telling my team who they were. You know, somebody wants to keep keep it um, a democracy and be diplomatic. I'm not very political when it comes to that. Team needs to know who your key guys are. Um, and then it's their responsibility. And there's a responsibility that goes along with being the best player. You're not allowed to have bad practices. There's three people that can never have a bad practice. The head coach, the best player, and the point guard. That's That's – Solid. You, you, those three guys have to come with it every day, and then come game time, that that carries over to games. Your best player has to be good every night. When you look at teams getting beaten in NCAA tournament, how does team get upset? Go look at how their best player play. When that guy doesn't play, they got no chance. You know, I've seen a lot of upsets in the tournament. People say, "My team upset that team." Yeah, if you break it down, the team that won, their best player had an unbelievable night. And the guy that team that lost, the best players just didn't didn't make any shots or just had a poor night. Best players have to play. You know, we're going into conference play. Um, um, you know, our pecking order has been established. That's what non-conference is for. You can do it a lot of different ways. Um, you know, we've had some great great wins and we've had some disappointing losses, um, but we're ten and two. But starting uh, right now. It doesn't matter whether you're ten and two, uh, eight and four, or two and ten. You're zero and zero. Conference play starts Wednesday. We're all the same. So we're looking forward to uh, getting off to a good start. But we know that playing on the road in conference play is never easy. Were you satisfied with the uh, energy and intensity you guys had when you were up about 25 and had most of those guys out there? Yeah, I, I don't get carried away with that. Uh, um, I keep my thumb on that. You know, that's why I continue to sub. They're going to play the right way. Not, don't play the right way, then they come sit sit beside me. But I, I didn't think I had a I, I didn't have a problem with anything today. When guys are open and miss shots, I don't I don't get carried away with that. You know, there's a reason why they're open. Um, you, we're usually moving the ball well, and guys are open. Um, had we shot the ball well and scored 100 points, we'd be in here talking about our offense. But the story of this game was not offense, good or bad. It was our defense.